Stop accumulating that bitterness. There are so many people that people are hurting them every day. They get offended and they lock it. They don't tell anyone. It's like they have a store of all the anger and the bitterness and they put it in a certain bag. Someone comes and shouts at you, you, you lock it. Your husband has offended you today, you put it in the bag. So you're accumulating this thing over and over again. And the more you're carrying this bag, the heavier it's getting on you. The heaviness on your heart, the anger, the bile that is building up. It's like, and then when people ask you, are you okay? You start saying, I'm okay. And you know very well you're not okay. You remember the Shunammite woman in, the, in Second Kings, Bible says that she was asked, are you okay? And she said, I am well. Yet she had lost the son. Now, that's a sad part about most people. They are piling up a lot of anger, a lot of bitterness. This thing is like a time bomb. The more you're piling it up, one day it's going to explode on you. If you ever hear people killing each other, it's as a result because of piling up so much pain, so much anger. Then one day it gets to a point, explodes and you just decide to kill someone. My friend, start releasing that pain. Start putting it out. That pressure that you're building yourself, you need to find a way to vent it out. Speak out. Express yourself. If someone has hurt you, be very quick. Just tell them, you didn't do this. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. Whatever you did, I don't want this to continue in my life. By the way, the people that speak up the most are the ones that don't experience depression. Look at the people that are stressed right now. Most of them shut up and they sleep with their pain. They're always crying in the middle of the night. Instead of expressing yourself, why don't you look for someone? A mentor. Why don't you look for a friend and express? And if someone has hurt you, be bold enough to tell them there's something that you're doing that I don't appreciate. By the way, if you do that, people will respect you even more. But if you keep locking up, even if it's your personality, my friend, when it comes to pain, it's not about personality. Whether you're the kind that is uh, an introvert, you need to find a way. You can even write it down. If you cannot speak it out, write it down. Or send a text message. Say, today you said something and you hurt me. That kind of pain will bring a lot of depression in your life. The Bible says in Proverbs 12 verse 25, Heaviness in the heart of a man maketh it stoop. Anytime you carry that pain, it makes you look dull, makes you look dark. And one day you will experience a lot of anger and frustration. My friend, that pain that you're carrying, you need to let it go. You need to let it go. Find a way to release that pressure. Find a way to talk about it. Even if you won't tell them directly, tell someone else who will go and tell them. Release that pressure. Let it go out. Don't need to die with stress in this world. This is an amazing place that God has created for us to be happy, for us to experience joy at all times. The kingdom of God is about joy, peace, and righteousness. How are you going to experience joy if you keep carrying that pain? That's why Jesus was very keen. He said, be logic. He said, cast your burdens unto me. If it's too heavy, cast it unto me. Stop keeping it to yourself. Express yourself.